Hi, in this video, we'll do a very quick professional looking animation, which is very elegant to look at, and it will make you look like a professional animator in no time. So let's get started. So first we'll start with creating a new composition. This composition is 1920 into 1080p and 60 frames per second. We'll get set. Okay. We'll go ahead and our text. I'll just type in reveal for now and we'll align it to the center of the composition. Now starts the animating part. We just open up this and go to this animate option and click on position. Once the position thing is added, you see animator one has been added here. You go to add and also add properties, opacity and rotation. Now open this up. Now what we need to do is set the animation values, like how much the position will move, how much the rotation will move and what will be the opacity at the starting point. So the position at the starting point should be 80 frames, sorry, 80 pixels below it. And rotation should be 20 degrees to the right and opacity would be zero. Now open up advanced and change the shape from square to ramp up. Now we'll animate the keyframe value for offset. Click here, set it at minus 100%. Go 30 frames ahead in the timeline. Now set it to 100%. Now play it back, you should see an animation. But this looks jittery, right? This does not look elegant or professional, anything I said, but we'll make it happen. So to do that, you just need to go ahead and adjust these values, the ease high and the ease low values. So generally what I like to do is uh, keep ease high to 25% and ease low to 100%. You can play around with it and see how, what works for you the best. Now we'll play it back. Yes, this looks great. Now I think it's a lot smoother and looks great. Now I'll tell you what else can we do from here, right? We have a lot of options. So first of all, we can do a randomized order animation. If you switch it on, what will happen? The characters will randomly appear and not one by one, which can be a thing that you're going for, but here we are not, so I'll just put it off. You can also do a character-based animation or a word-based animation or line-based animation, depending on what you're trying to get over there. And you can also add a few more, you know, properties like uh, skew, scale, anchor point, and all that. So we'll save that for another day. So yeah, I think that is it for this video. I hope this has helped you understand animations a little better. We'll come up with future videos where I'll talk more about these character animations and we'll learn more kind of effects and all that. So just be sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Thank you very much for watching this video. This has been Satyjit. See you in the next one.